Am I the asshole? For refusing to tell my son's grandparents which of my children is their grandson? Adam has been talking to his parents for the last couple of years and they are trying to repair the relationship. He has been feeling positive about it. He asked and we all agreed that they could come visit the Saturday after Thanksgiving and meet the boys. Adam had already explained the living situation. Because we always thought of the kids as all of ours and the kids call us all their parents, it didn't really occur to me that the bio-parentage would be an issue for Adam's parents. Things were okay and everyone was behaving until we put the kids to bed. I went to my room to give the others some space to talk. I heard Adam raise his voice a little, but decided not to get involved. Not long after, his mom knocked on my door and asked to talk. It boiled down to she and her husband wanted to know which of the boys was their grandson. They both favor me right now more than Adam and John, so it's not obvious. I had a suspicion that something was up so I told her that she needed to talk to Adam and John about it. They refused to answer the question because both boys are their children, so she wanted me to. It turned into a really uncomfortable situation, Adam and his dad aren't speaking, and I've gotten some messages from his mom trying to backtrack but also press for info at the same time. A friend of mine said that while it was smart to not disclose without consulting Adam and John, we're delving into our territory by refusing to explain the bio-relationships involved and it's not wrong for the grandparents to want to know especially since John's parents know. They only know because they were very involved with helping us with the pregnancies and when the boys were tiny since my parents are passed on, however. Am I the asshole? Just tell them that both sets of sperm were, were mixed together for insemination so none of you know. Absolutely not the asshole. They have two grandsons. If they're not able to handle this, that's their problem. Not the asshole, but be prepared for them to sneak a DNA test on you. Not the asshole at all. If they can't recognize that both children are their grandkids then Adam should go no contact with them although obviously that's up to Adam. The favoritism could potentially be very damaging for the kids. Protect your boys. There can't be a good reason that they are pushing so hard. It sounds like your family needs to set some boundaries with Adam's parents. Not the asshole. This wasn't your information to share. Not the asshole. I suspect they will be treating the children unequally when they find out. They are both their children right now, so let it remain that way. Not the asshole. On a side note, having two kids the age of one and three. That three-parent relationship seem like luxury from here. Not the asshole. Both kids are all three of yours so it shouldn't matter. They chose not to be around during the time the boys were born and they don't need to know. Also, co-parenting for the win. BTW. This arrangement. Beautiful. I remember reading about a mom who had bio and adopted children. When someone asked which was which she just replied I can't remember. I have no idea. That is not important to me. All I know is Adam and John made the donations and I never asked which was from who. Have a nice day. Not the asshole. Sounds like Adam's parents have issues with boundaries. They were given one and tried to use you to cross it. Not the asshole Adam's parents have been despicable bigots for a long time. This is the outcome of their terrible choice. They deserve nothing. Not the asshole. Any grandparent that cares that much about it will absolutely treat the kids differently after knowing. There is no reasonable reason for them to be so concerned with it. Not the asshole I just wanted to say this such a charming family dynamic that you have with your kids fathers. I wish you all well. I am confused about one thing did they not know their son had a child? Could they not figure it out just from what age the children are? It's great that you are respecting the dad's wishes. Also make sure to raise the boys knowing they are fully brothers so those grandparents don't try to manipulate one against the other. Not the asshole it seems kinda obvious they'd only consider the one they share DNA with as an actual grandchild. 
Why did you tell Adam's parents that your sons are half-siblings in the first place? If you're all a family unit regardless of genetics then that seems unnecessary information to divulge. If Adam and John are married, both of the kids are their grandchildren. That's why I love my dad. He wouldn't care which was which, he would just be glad to have two new grandsons to spoil and hang out with. Once they know which one is biologically related, they will completely ignore the other kid. It sucks for Adam but it sounds like going back to no contact is the best thing for everyone. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Don't let anybody put up walls around or between you and your kids. Not the asshole. And also this living situation seems amazing. The boys get three parents and you get more helpers their mom I absolutely love it. Not the asshole. Seems like they're only pressing you because they want to know which one they should care about. If they respected your arrangement they would understand that both of them are their grandchildren and leave it at that. Not the asshole. Why are they so concerned about which is their bio-grandchild anyway? Are they planning on playing favorites? Don't give in to them, they're the ones being assholes. Not the asshole. Why are they so concerned about which is their bio-grandchild anyway? Are they planning on playing favorites? Don't give in to them, they're the ones being assholes. It's not unusual for them to want to know. Not the asshole. Both kids belong to all of you. It's easy. They can either have two grandsons or no grandsons. They either accept their son and how he chooses to live his life or they don't. The end. Not the asshole. Heaven forbid they adopted children this our grandparents would probably hate them. Do you think they're going to try to sue for custody? Nata. This point is solely mainly Adam's decision. Not the asshole. They probably want to know so they can decide which boy to put in their will. Just out of curiosity, what does custody in this situation look like? I guess you and Adam are on the birth certificate for one kid and you and John for the other? Like who goes to parent-teacher meetings? I have so many questions. Not the asshole for every reason everyone else has said. Also, I just want to say that your unusual domestic situation is fantastic. Not the asshole. Both children are their grandchildren. Just as, has the children been adopted, they would have both been their grandchildren. Not the asshole. If you guys did tell them, I would make it clear that the first time they ever bring it up or treat the boys differently based on parentage, then they will be cut off forever. Not the asshole, not even slightly. By my standards, the only R here is the grandparent. Absolutely not the asshole, it's none of anyone's business, they don't have reason or a right to know. Good on you for protecting your dear friend. Not the asshole. But I'm surprised that Adam's parents haven't looked at baby and child photos of him and then look at the grandchildren to see which one looks like him. If asked again, I'd pause, look off into the distance for a moment, look at the mother and say, you know, I really don't remember now with a perfectly straight face.